Seastar have released a new product, the 8x42 binoculars. But are these astronomy binoculars or even smart binoculars? In this video, I'm going to explain what this new product from Seastar is and what your options are if you're looking for some great binoculars for astronomy. So I got an alert from Seastar that they were releasing new products. So I thought instantly, cool, new, new smart product. And then I saw the name was binoculars, 8x42 binoculars. So I thought, awesome, smart binoculars. Because you may know that Unistellar have the first pair of smart astronomy binoculars, which you scan the sky with and it tells you what you're looking at. I saw this new product from Seastar and saw it was pretty cheap and thought, wow, have they released effectively the equivalent of the Seastar S30 or whatever in binoculars. Turns out, no, they're uh, actually just pretty basic binoculars. They're not even really astronomy binoculars. The measurements are 8 times 42 that means 8 times magnification. Uh, that means you can kind of use them for handheld use. Any higher than that, um, and it gets too shaky. 24 millimeter means the aperture, the size of the lenses. The bigger that is, the better, because the more light you want to gather. 24 millimeters is way too small for astronomy. You're not going to see anything. So these are basically terrestrial daytime binoculars of which many other options are available already it's hard to understand quite why they've gone for uh, this product under the sea star branding see sea star is kind of a, a branch of zwo and zwo make very very good astronomy and astrophotography gear cameras mounts telescopes sea star have two smart telescopes quite good budget smart telescopes the s30 and the s50 they're both really good i don't really know why they see star have added this this to the range if you look on the marketing it's not like they're pretending they're for astronomy you can see someone walking around looking at nature with them i could only guess they wanted to just add more products under the branding to to expand the reach there are smart astronomy binoculars available, uh, the Unistellar Envision. If you just want binoculars for astronomy, I generally recommend the Celestron SkyMaster range because you get a good balance of cost to performance. Swarovski also have a smart binoculars. They're more tailored for terrestrial use again, more for birding, wildlife use. Again, they're expensive, but almost certainly very good from the brand. So overall, bit of a strange product for Seastar to put out. Not 100% sure of the decision making there's nothing against the product it's probably pretty good as long as you're aware of what you're getting that they're they're daytime terrestrial binoculars they're not an astronomy or astrophotography related product if you do want a pair of astronomy binoculars as i said i generally recommend the celestron skymaster 20 times 80 is the right balance for most people if they want their first pair it's 80 millimeter aperture is good width, good aperture for, for light gathering. And you use it with a tripod to balance off any shake. You'll get good views and they're not too expensive. If you'd wanna know more about astronomy binoculars, then check out this video here where I go through all the best options from budget to the most powerful. Cheers.